Mm -hmm. Let's go through the paper. So it says, out of state tuition hack, but on pause. I'm going to tell you that the whole college thing's a scam, just stealing money from. And, you know, they give out that shit for, for, to everyone, and no one pays it back. You know? It's a big scam. You know, the whole thing fucking... Because the college actually produces nothing. If you, if, you, if, you, if you look at it, really think about it, look at the people that are coming out of the colleges, especially these days. I mean, back in the day, they might have they might have been a slightly different. But, what you need, Hunter? But, might have been slightly... Is you all right? Oh. Mm. Might have been slightly different. Um, then it's time to see the do. What should we got here? What lost Submariner means for space tourism? Huh. That's another joke. That whole thing. Never should have been down there. And they know it. It's all money. Let's see what else we got. This fucking stupid shit. I really do. What is it? Um. Oh, yeah. DeSantis takes tougher marijuana stance. Because he, he, he his people need to make more money. You get it? The people that put him in the office... Need to make more money. So DeSantis like, we need to, you know, no federal, yeah. Even though he knows the fucking, you know, he knows it's a big scam. Yep. Scum fucker. Let's see. And industries brace for workers' exodus. They can't get anybody to pick fruit. Huh. Well, let me think here. Farmers don't want to pay nothing. And I'll tell you, most of the farms are government-owned right now. They're all big fucking corporations and conglomerates and shit like that. So, because they went through and all private ones that were like owned by families were pretty much taken by the by the government. That's what they do. There's storms or be it shouldn't be in the season, huh? Uh, you know, and all this stuff that's going on in Europe and you know, anytime they put anything, it's like you hear propaganda about it for like four or five days and it's not even that shit was done and over with and it's like and, and it still just keeps being recycled as truth. You know, and it's like if they repeat it enough, it um, if you repeat something enough, it just becomes, you know, that's not how it works. You know, listening to Barack Obama speak makes me want to throw up. You know, just to see how the, the you know, and then to sit there and to have <coughs> people that hate America. I mean, and literally they hate fucking white people. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what country they're from. And you got whole, we got a United States Army, military, pretty much protecting scumbags. Like, let's see where the, um, the fucking, um, the last president of, of, uh, Columbia. Where's he living at? Not in Columbia. Nope. Washington, D.C. Now, why would a, Colombian president, you know, that got apparently got elected and his people love him. Why would he live in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Isn't it weird how most of these people that are elected, if you let the if you let them out in the streets, the streets will will take care of it. Yeah. You know, Zelensky, that that's people don't really realize. You know, Ukraine, everything up there in the north is different than what's going on in the south. Especially over there towards Russia. Um, here's what happens: America, just like it, America's not in charge either. It's like it's there's people behind it, money that pay to to have like people like Obama, and they literally they spend decades grooming these people. You know, like well, you got to have this certificate, this that check. They're just checking boxes, you know. Um, And, um, mm. yeah. What good has Obama really done? He's gotten a fucking, got trails named after him and his wife, fucking roads named after him. Yeah. What really have they done but push racism? Yeah. 
Just like what do you? I, and every time I hear that, uh, what is it? Um, when someone's a, uh, the fuck they call them? Civil rights. There's some racist black dude that just died up here in Jacksonville. He's a civil rights. He got the Confederate monuments taken off, you know, and and pretty much he's had you, you pushed hate his whole life. Good riddance to him. Yep, good riddance to you. People like you. Yep. Worth nothing. I'm going to tell you this, man. You know, and that's why I don't really fucking... I'm not worried. Because karma's all going to get y'all. All you racist pieces of shits out there. White, black, green, don't matter what color you are. Yep, Howard Stern's racist. He hates fucking white people. He hates himself. He's a fucking turd. Yep. And you know, all these people that like... I'm, uh, you know... And they just follow their countries blindly. Yep. Yep. You know, let's see what we got. Everybody thinks like, oh, the Americans, uh, the Europeans came and just moved out the fucking, the Indians. There was Indians coming from all over, you know, for they were, they were coming from up, across, down, and like, at the, even towards the end, you know, the ones that were on the, the ones, the Indians on the coastlines are the ones that got the guns, they're the ones that got to talk to the, to the English, and like, hey, you know, we'll go get you some fucking ones, you know, just give us this, give us that. As soon as they had a, you know, as soon as they had a, like, as soon as they had an edge on the other tribe, they killed them. They murdered them. Yep. Yep, that's what they did. They sure did. That's what happens everywhere. <clears throat> but I'm sick of this civil rights bullshit. This whole fucking, fucking bullshit, dude. It's all fucking, all smoke and mirrors. I'm so happy to see that, that, um, what is it, that fucking stupid FBI, bunch of FBI guys in budget truck or something. And they went, um, I think they went to a, uh, I think they went to, um, Fucking Proud Boys thing. That's what it was. And, um, you get, you mean, everybody knows exactly what they are. And they came there with all their fucking shit on, and they're completely covered, and they just started, you know, trying to blend in. And the FBI, you know, when you see these actors and stuff, these people were, like, trained to try to act on film, and even they have a problem with it. So they're acting, they're, they're asking, they're asking way too much of, um, of these fucking stupid fucking people. Yep. The FBI, well, why would they Why would they need 87,000 armed um, agents? I'm telling you, they, they need people that are willing to murder and arrest fellow Americans for profit, knowing, knowing, right, that they're on the wrong. Yep. Knowing. Anybody that goes and gets a fucking job with the government right now knows that they're in the wrong. I don't give a fuck what part of the government it is. You see it all burning right now. Yep. You know, some of the worst cities in America are run by black people. I wonder. Yep. I'm telling you guys are so, you know, you guys, I'll tell you that, black. That, that, you know, when, um, shiny, you know, look over here, look over here. You know, that's what it is, man. Fucking so easily fucking um, entertained when it comes to that. Sell yourselves out. It wasn't hard for when they went to Africa. Believe me, man. It wasn't hard for them to go in fucking, you know, fuck. I don't know none of these motherfuckers. Yep. You might have the same color skin, but they don't look at you like you're the same. And now you got in America, you've got it. You've made it. You have made it acceptable to hate white people. Yep. <sighs> There's no such thing as white privilege. All this shit was made up. You know? Making poor all these black people and immigrants fucking like they're like like they're fucking um less. Yeah. I couldn't imagine if I was brought up in a world 
where they told me that the color of my skin is going to keep me this. I couldn't imagine. Yep. Sad. Your relatives have sold you out. Yep. Yep. As soon as they get in the system, they love it. Yep. They sure do. They don't want to work. Nope. I see it. Nope. They just want... Nobody wants to work anymore. Nobody. White, black, any of them. And it, they, they, you got American eyes here. They really are. I work around people and it's ridiculous. You know, fucking hour lunch and shit. It's the fucking construction, dude. Could take an hour, man. I'm fucking fall asleep, dude. Just get, get the fuck going. Get out of here. Everybody on their phones now. Yep, can't get anything done. I would never, ever start a business right now. No way. Can't hire anybody. There's no one. There's nobody out there worth the shit. Yep. Everybody's fucking on their phones. Everybody wants whatever, man. It's all about fucking, yeah. And you guys don't even notice it. It's the collapse of America. The whole world, really. <laughs> and, and I keep, you know, don't, let's not forget about the spaceships and stuff that's going on. I know you guys would have ignored everything. But um, you're going to see more grays, right? And the ones that see them, most of you won't, won't be able to uh, share your experiences. <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna tell you it's gonna get brutal, and it's and it's um, it's all karma. Yep, complete a whole nations and states, yep. groups. I sure have. Um, so um, yeah, fuck you FBI, fuck you CIA, all that shit. Bunch of fucking idiots. Yep, sellouts to the top, the to the to the mighty dollar. Yep. They're all a bunch of sellouts. You're the ones in schools that would fucking uh, tell on everybody. Yep. That kid cheated. I saw this kid. He did that. Yep. That's exactly what you are. Little sheep. Yep. And women don't belong in fucking in the military when it comes to front line or any of that. Yep. Our police. Nowhere near it. Shouldn't be on the streets. Shouldn't be dealing with people. Nope. You got fucking chips this fucking big on bodies fucking five foot two. Yep. And it just, you know, they start fucking treating people like shit. And then one, then they know they have backup there to fucking... That's what it is. It's weak people. You putting all these badges on. You know, I don't look up to all these fucking people, these police and shit like that. Uh, teachers. I don't look up to none of them motherfuckers. Nope. nope. Remember how they... Do, oh, look at... Just like they were like healthcare officials, dude. They tried to make them heroes. No, they weren't. They weren't heroes. No, they're just fucking making money. Yep. They're trying to distort reality, dude. You should have never got rid of the fucking books. Your definitions, man. They just keep changing them. Yep. Now we don't know what a UFO is, right? What's a UFO? Nope, it's a UAP. Uh, phenomenon. Uh, yep. The gods haven't left. Nope. You guys have left the gods. That's what it is. So you guys are like, you guys are so, <laughs> you ain't going to see it coming. Yep. It's sad. I see in the in these, uh when I, there's that Mr. MMBB33 or something like that, the guy that does all the uh, fucking um, spaceships and stuff. And you see in the comments now, they're like, it's, it's, I cannot believe how, how, yeah. that's our public school system. Yeah. That's really the public school system. We've taken all the wonder out of everything. So they're just so hard stuck because this is what they've been told. Yep. And I, that's never how I was. I was always more of an experienced kind of guy. You know, I wanted to see the shit. You know, I didn't just, just like, oh, you fucking crazy. You know, I didn't say there was not this or not that. But I just haven't seen it. You know, I'm not that fucking. But for the way people are now, they're just not even. They're looking at things and they're like, well, there's got to be an explanation. Yep. Yep. Nope, logic and reason ain't gonna get you out of this one. Nope. Nope. That's another thing. I've, you know, I, my son is reading um, Karen Horney, which was um, psychoanalysis from I don't remember the 30s, 40s, something like that, 50s. And uh, she, um, I like her. I like the way she writes, and I've read two of her books. And um, he's reading one of the ones I read, second one, and. Um, I was telling him when you're reading it, you know, she gets, there's things that she, you know, and I was trying to say, um, she forgets the fact that she doesn't, she doesn't understand men. She can't ever, just like me, I can't understand women. 
and she tries to say that she thinks she understands men. And that's what that's where she gets off in that book. And that's where she messes and makes mistakes. She, she, they, they're so easily lumped into little categories. And, um, and uh, I'm telling you, having some nuts on you changes the whole way you look at the world. Yep. Yep. And I'm sure the other way around. But I just can't. I, can, I can't. So, so at least I can admit I'll never understand women. But you couldn't get half these people to, uh, to admit to that. That they'll never understand men. Women. Yep. Most men know they don't understand them. Yeah. But uh, we're not meant to. We're, it's yeah. not meant to. Fucking mosquitoes. Well, I'll let y'all go. Fucking mosquitoes. I'm going to get bit up. God bless.